Hello and welcome everybody to a new Axis OS session. My name is Madeleine Jönsson and I'm with the Axis OS product management team at Axis Communications. Today I'm going to talk about the new LTS 2024 that has just been released. We create a new LTS track every two years and it's the active track that becomes an LTS as you can see. Now it was time for Axis OS 1111 to become an LTS. LTS 2024 will be supported until December 31st, 2029. For the LTS we focus on compatibility and consistency, ensuring there are no breaking changes to keep the product well integrated with third-party equipment and software. And we will also continue to maintain cybersecurity. For LTS 2024, only the patch number is increased as it's used for adding patches and bug fixes. If you have a system that is compatible with a major or minor version, it should also be compatible regardless of the patch number. If we look at what's included in the first release of LTS 2024, you can see it's mostly cybersecurity updates where we have updated several software components to patch recently discovered vulnerabilities. There are also a few product-specific improvements. You will find the complete list in our release notes. But we need to talk in detail about one patch in particular. In 11.11.109, we have addressed a CVE and to avoid the risk of downgrade attacks, we need to prevent downgrading to an older Axis OS version other than the latest supported 10.12 LTS track that contains the patch for the same CVE. This means you can roll back, but once you upgrade it, you cannot downgrade to a lower version. This applies to product based on RPIC 8 and all IMX ship. All related products can be found in the release notes page. Many of our products will remain on LTS 2024 and will not receive Access OS 12 updates. A few products will get two years more updates with product-specific support. You can see them here. In addition, there are other products with LTS 2024 that are not displayed in this video that will continue to be supported beyond LTS 2024. Complete list can be found in our release notes. Access OS 12 is coming. Before upgrading to Access OS 12, Please double check that your software system, VMS or ACAB is compatible with the new version. As we have mentioned before, there are some significant changes in Access OS 12. You can read about all the changes in Access OS Portal. If your system isn't ready yet or you're unsure, it's safer to stay on Access OS LTS 2024 for now. It is always a good idea to test the update in a test environment first before applying it to your production system. And that's it for today. I hope you found the session interesting. Thanks a lot for listening. In a couple of weeks, a new video about Axis OS 12 will be released. So stay tuned. <laughs>